Hi, and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers and the nice comments I'm receiving. I'm really enjoying it. And I'll, like I say, I'll carry on doing it as long as people are enjoying it. And on this video, um, summer's on its way and I like to be prepared. So I'm starting to do my um, banded hook lengths for my shallow fishing, which I like to do a lot of caster shallow in the summer, caster and pellet shallow, maggot shallow. Uh, I just love carrot shallow fishing. So I'm starting to get my hook lengths ready for that time of year. I've got a new hook length box and it's time to fill it. So uh, I've put my chest cam on. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I can see while I'm doing it. And I'm going to show you how I do the dreaded two inch hook length with uh, a band on the hook. Uh, right, so we'll see how it goes. Like, like I say, there's the dreaded two inch hook length. It's not, it's not massively hard to do. I know some people have problems doing it, but with practice you get better. Right, first of all, I'm going to show you a bit, few of the bits and bobs I use. I've got, uh, well, so we'll start off with the hooks. I'm using size 16s and size 18s GPMBs. Obviously, I need. Uh, I've got a loop sizer here. I tend not to use this so much nowadays. I tend to use these loops, uh, these loop tires. Uh, this one I use on the main line at the end of the rig where my hook length is attached. And this one I use for tying the band into the loop. And it makes the nice size for for the stem of the hook. I'll show you that, the shank of the hook. So I'll show you that. The bands I use are the, the Preston latex bands in the small size. The small size I use for pellets and for maggots. And the medium size I use for casters or bigger pellets. Tends to be mostly caster I put in there. The reason I use those is because they, they push lovely. Well, a caster can easily push through it, push into it without damaging the caster and not having to use any tools or anything to get the caster on the, on the, in the band. So them are brilliant. Um, I'm using now 14 Acupower. And these are jigs that I've made at the mag store system. That's how they come four inch. And I've made a jig for a three inch hook length and a jig for a two inch hook length. That's the one I'm going to be using today. A pair of scissors and a hook tire. Now I don't use this hook tire conventionally because I'm doing the bands obviously. So what I do is I wind that out, take the metal frame out of the hook tire, wind it back in a bit and get rid of that out of the way. Right, so... Let's just make sure my camera's on. I peel some line off the spool. First of all, it would help if we got a band out. So, a medium sized band. Pass the line through the band. Pass the line through the band. Give yourself plenty of excess and form a loop. I've wet my fingers to give the loop some moisture to help stick the line together. It just makes it that little bit easier to work with. I've wet the tyre. I'll give you two turns. The reason I do that is because I'm caggy handed and it ends up just being one turn on there. Because that's all you need is one turn. Now I'm forming the loop, making sure the knots, the bands not in that knot and there you go that is a tiny knot which is perfect size for the shank of that up cut off the excess i want it really tight there so you've ended up with that now i'm going to trim off the line the other end so give myself loads of excess excess Trim the line off to give me loads of excess. 
so as I've got I'm not messing about with it too tight taking a size 18 GPMB out and I'm going to put it in this tire at the side this just makes it that much because like it's really small look I want to put 26 turns down that shank and hold it in these fingers and thumbs is not easy apologies for my hands by the way um, I was down on the old well I was on the 20 foot drain Sunday feeding loads of grain bait and I'm sure the grain baits dried my fingers out and cracked them and and took all the moisture out of them that will get better so passing the line through the eye of the hook at the back and then I'm gonna place the band along the back of the hook I'm gonna hold it onto the tire then I'm going to try and get two or three turns above that knot and then go down. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. When I get down to 20, I pinch the line and I pull that up the shank just to give me enough room to get another six turns on. I just 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now that, that hooks really tight to that to that shank of that. That, line's re that band is really tight to the shank of that hook. I'm going to pass the line through so. Through the back of the hook again and then pull tight. Undo the tyre and there we are. Perfectly tied. Size 18 GPMB with a, a mini, a medium banding. Now for fish and cast the shallow, <clears throat> I like that band really tight to the hook. It's not going to go anywhere, it's perfect that is. Right, now then, I'm going to try and show you how to do this. Once you get practised on it, it's not difficult to do. So on my jig, I'm going to put the hook this end because it's got something to hold on to. It'll just slide off the other end. And then I'm going to pass the line back down there. I'm going to hold on to the both ends of that line right by the bottom of the hook. So as it gives me plenty of room to work with. I'm again wetting the line. And I'm going to form a loop. It is a, it is a bit fiddly. I mean, there's not a lot of line to work with. I'm going to form a loop like that. I'm going to put my tyre again, two turns, and over the end of the tyre, the and then there we go. Perfect first time. Pull tight, and then trim it off. Not so tight this time. There you go. There's a perfect two inch up length. Does look a bit bent at the mini, but once it's been sitting on the the Peggy Euro Clamp box for a while, it'll straighten out. Now, like I said, this is a brand new Euro Clamp box, so I don't use I don't use I don't tend to use these. I just mark in there with a, a sharpie pen of what size. And a little tip: what I do, because I'm these Euro Clamp boxes are brilliant, but I don't know if it's just me, but I keep losing all clamps when I go to pull them off the peg because they've got a notch on either side. So what I do is, once I've decided what the old clamp box is for, uh, like this end I'll use for four, in four inch, and this end I'll use for two inch and three inch. So the first few, first few pegs, so that's the two inch, that'll be two inch there. What I'll do is I'll get the Stanley and I'll nip off the notch off the one side and it stops me from just getting the whole clamp caught and losing the whole clamp. So that's smooth down that side now. And you've got the notch on that side. And then I'll put the loop on first and then I'll put the hook on. It'll be nice and tight on there, which is which is just perfect how you want it because it helps straighten out that whole clamp, but that whole clamp in the box before you come to use it. And there you go. That's a perfect two inch hook clamp. So, loads more to do. I'll crack on.
Now what I use this size loop tire for is for the main line of the rig. I'll just show you, just for uh, demonstration purposes, just pull a bit of line off that, off that spool. It's always easier to wet the line. It's easy, it makes it easy to work with if you give it a bit of moisture. Two turns on there. Make another loop. So that loop's a little bit bigger, which will help you to pass the band and the hook through. If you rig, if you've got no intentions of using banded hook clamps on on your rig, I'd, perhaps, I'd tend to use that one. But because I'm using a banded hook clamp on this, I will be using banded hook clamp on this one. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So that's the loop on the main line. That's there's the hook clamp. So you're gonna pass that loop of the hook clamp over the top of the main line loop, hold on to it, then get your hook, and pass that and the band through that loop, and then pull down, and there you go, that is your, your main line with your, with your hook length attached. Obviously, I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes, but that's how you want it to look. You don't want to be doing, that's the only way you should be attaching your hook clamps. Because it will hang straight. If you do it any other way, it will hang off at an angle, which is, is not pretty. And it's not right. Right, so to demonstrate how to put a caster on the in the band, I've been out to the garage and got a few casters. So, right, get your caster, pointy end, and just push it through the band, basically. That's it. And there you go. That is your banded caster. Like that. Bit of a close up on it. Let's see if that focuses. Now, the reason I use bandy casters is because I mean, somebody did say to me, why don't you just hook the casters? You can't slap a rig with a hooked caster on. It will just burst the caster. Now, with a bandy caster, you never burst the caster, which gives you more chance to get a fish. So there you go. That is your bandied caster rig. They're going back in the bag ready for tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to film a film tomorrow at uh, Isaac Walton. If I can get it out without bursting it. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If there's anything else you want to see, any more little tips, let us know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Cheers.